Egg for this evening's first trains. Condition trot at one mile, a purse at $2,000. First half of the early double exact uh, trifecta wagering. This is the Down Under Challenge. Scratch the five, Sycamore Molly sick. Drivers change on the seven pan Jandrum Hanover. The driver is George Bonomo, being led to the post by Outrider Kathy Hawk. The one is Little Beans, owned by David Ehrenberg II of Westerville, Ohio, trained by Robert Denman with Dave Ehrenberg II. Well, the two is Toss the Dice, owned and trained by John Melsheimer of Zanesville, Ohio, with Timothy Vince. The three is always playing tag, owned by the Hatfield Stables of Columbus, Ohio, trained by Milton Smith with Bud Hatfield. The four is Rachel Nancy. The lessee is also the trainer, Connie Molnar of Ashley, Ohio, with Steve Phillips. The five, Sycamore Molly is out sick. The six, John T. Burt and me, owned by Westgate Motors Incorporated at Columbus, Ohio, trained by Bob Chapman with Raymond Ricci. The seven, Pan Jandrum Hanover, owned and trained by Joe Varga of Sugar Creek, Ohio, with George Bonomo up. Enter the outside of the eight overnight chair, owned by Roger Bartley and Roger Bartley Jr., both of Ohio, trained by Roger Bartley Jr., George Simon, and the Sulky. That's the field for the first race. The Down Under Challenge. Scratch the five. Sycamore Molly Sick. First half of the early double exact is in tries. Well, the gate swings into the back stretch, and there they go. This field is in motion. They're all fan trotting at the Down Under Challenge and stepping out of there for the lead. There goes always playing tag and Bud Hatfield. Out of the outside of there, that's John T. Burt and me from the rail. Little Beans is coming away, racing in two. Angle of the pylons in third will be John T. Burt and me. Away and forth there, that is Toss the Dice. Caught to the outside, racing in fifth. That is Rachel Nancy, sixth on the inside. Panjandrum, Hanover in seventh and trailing the field off stride here. That is overnight air. As they step around to the opening quarter, the opening quarter, Quarter came and went in 29 and two fifths and driving on by the stands for the first time and heading on down to the half. On top, always playing Taddock and Bud Hatfield out there on the point, leading it by two. Into the inside, and Little Beans is trotting in second. Along the rail, John T. Burt and me trots in third. A gap at two and fourth, toss the dice. Fifth on the inside, Panjandrum Hanover. Sixth to the outside, Rachel Mancy in seventh and trailing overnight air. Back down, trotting there as they trot around the clubhouse, turn in front of the paddock and on over to the half. They're going to reach the half here. They're halfway home. 59 seconds flat off the turn and driving down the back side. Heads are pointed towards three quarters being led by always playing tag and Bud Hatfield on the point. Leading it here by some six and a half, seven lengths to the inside. John T. Burt and me is now closing in in second. Little Beans could not go on from third. Outside racing in third now as they step towards the three quarter mile mark of the race. That's Toss the Dies at the rail. Racing in fourth Panjandrum Hanover. Outside racing in five. Rachel Nancy. Sixth and backing up still. Little Beans. Seventh and sliding through. That is overnight air. They went three quarters and one thirty and four fifths and always playing tag is bottom out this field here and is opened up by seven and a half, eight lengths. The closest one is John T. Burt and me as they turn to the top of Power Alley. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come with a down under challenge and on top always playing tag is making it look easy this evening as they roll within the final 16th always playing tag and Bud Hatfield is going to win the down under challenge challenge here at Santa Downs. Finishing seconds, the sixth, John T. Burt and me is going to be very close for third. Photo for show, time with about 202 and four fifths, always playing tag, gate to wire. Four, official, the three, always playing tag, returning 260, 240, 280. Second, the six, John T. Burt and me, 340, 340. Third of the four, Rachel Nancy, 380. The 3-6 exact is worth $15.80, while the 3-6-4 try is worth $104.40. Stepping track side of the winner's circle, the winner of the first race, the Down Under Challenge timed in 202 and 4 fifths, going gate to wire here for the fourth win in 2004. Here's the three always playing tag. A four-year-old bay getting by world champion Tag Leaboo out of a Sacramento mare, always the one. Over the Hatfield Stables at Columbus, Ohio, trained by Milton Smith, nicely handled here this evening by winning driver Bud Hatfield. The three always playing tag, and Bud Hatfield take the down under challenge, gate to wire in 202 and four fifths.